Hello, my name is Robert Van der Gein, and I'm one of the instructors for Laugh On Programming for Correctness, together with Dr. Maggie Myers, who unfortunately doesn't want to be on camera, so you only get to see her hands in various videos. Let me start by discussing why we decided to create Laugh On as a course. Many years ago, Maggie and I taught a course here in our department that was called Analysis of Programs. And in it, one of the topics was how to, on the one hand, prove a program to be correct, and on the other hand, how to derive it to be correct, although the part of the course that dealt with derivation was actually very short. Now, at the time when I would have students come up to me and ask, so why should we learn this? Um, we would sort of say, well, it, 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 it's a good training of the mind, and you'll learn how to think through how to program better and therefore you will write better programs. But the fact is that the examples that we would use in class were relatively simple and therefore it was hard to really convince people that this was useful in general. Now fast forward to the mid-1990s at a time when I did research on how to port algorithms uh, that computed linear algebra operations to massively parallel computers. At the time, people would come and visit me and they would say, Robert, here is an operation with matrices. Uh, we've taken the algorithm that everybody uses on a regular computer. We've tried to parallelize it and it just doesn't work very well. It doesn't scale. Scaling means that you can take the algorithm and run it on many processors and still get very good performance. And they would show me what the operation is that they were trying to parallelize and I would go to the whiteboard and I would doodle a little bit and after about a half an hour I would say, well, here's a whole family of different algorithms that compute that same operation and if we pick this particular algorithm then it will parallelize well. And then we would sit down, we would implement it and before you know it we would have another paper, we would submit it and this was all very good. So. After a while, we started thinking, so what is the systematic principle behind what I'm doing here? So I collaborated with several of my PhD students and with Maggie, and what we did was we really thought through what made the process so systematic and what allowed us to do this. So that led to what in the second part of the course we will call the worksheet for deriving linear algebra algorithms. What we have done now is we've gone back to this original material that we used to teach in the early 1990s. We have repackaged it with all of the insight that we've had over the years. And we've now created this online course so that we can not only teach this to the few students that we get in our classes here at the University of Texas, but we can actually share this with the entire world. So. We invite you to join us for Laugh on Programming for Correctness so that you too can master these very fundamental techniques and hopefully so that you can then apply these to your own problems.